Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to Fun Learn with Dipti. Today we are going to start the chapter Chemical Reaction and Equation and this is for class 10th and this is chapter number 1. In this chapter we will learn about what are chemical reaction and how to identify them. We will learn about what are chemical equation, how to write these chemical equation and how to balance the chemical equation. Okay, what are the various types of chemical reaction? We will learn about them also and what are redox reaction. Let's start. We see a lot of changes that are taking place around us. These changes can be classified as physical changes and chemical changes. We have already learned about these two changes in our previous classes. Let's try to recall it and try to understand the basic differences between these two changes. In physical changes, there can be change in shape and size, but no new substance is formed. On the other hand, new substances are formed in chemical changes with entirely new properties. Physical changes are easily reversible whereas chemical changes are generally irreversible. Physical changes are temporary whereas chemical changes are permanent. Melting of ice to form water is a physical change. Water and ice both look different but they are made up of water molecules only. No new substances are formed. So it is a physical change. Now when magnesium ribbon is heated, it burns in air and it forms a white powder called magnesium oxide. This magnesium oxide is an entirely new substance. So it is a chemical change. In our daily life, we see a lot of chemical reaction. Let us take a look of the examples of chemical reaction. Formation of curd from milk, cooking of food, digestion of food, respiration, fermentation of grapes, rusting of iron. So what is a chemical reaction? It is the process in which new substances with entirely new properties are formed. Some examples of chemical reaction are magnesium burns with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. So in this reaction, a new substance magnesium oxide is formed. Sodium reacts with chlorine to form sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is the new substance that is formed in this reaction. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. So water is that new substance which is formed in this reaction. So in all of these cases, new substances with entirely new properties are formed. Here you can see hydrogen is a gas and oxygen is also a gas but H2O is liquid. Sodium metal reacts with chlorine which is a poisonous gas to form sodium chloride which we eat every day. Here we can see that in chemical reaction new substances are formed with entirely new property. But how we can know that a chemical reaction took place? Well there are signs or you can say the characteristics of chemical reactions. So what are these characteristics? Change in state, change in color, evolution of gas, change in temperature. These are the four characteristic or you can say the signs of chemical reactions. When magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it converted into what? Magnesium oxide. So there is a chemical reaction that is happening here. But when we will write it in sentence, it will be quite long. So is there any shorter method? Yes, there is a shorter method or shorter form of this chemical reaction. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. So this is called a word equation. Here magnesium and oxygen are the reactant 
and the new substance that is formed is the product so what are reactants reactants are the substance that take part in chemical reaction and what are product the new substances that are formed as a result of chemical reaction are called product we always write the reactant on the left hand side with plus sign between them and we write the product on the right hand side with plus sign between them if there are two product then we write product 1 plus product 2 like that and there is arrow in between reactant and product and this arrow head points towards the product showing the direction of the reaction now can you identify the reactant and the product in these equations the first one is hydrogen plus oxygen gives water and the second one is sodium plus chlorine gives sodium chloride here hydrogen and oxygen are the reactant and this water is the product here sodium and chlorine are the reactant and sodium chloride is the product these word equation can be written in even more shorter form and for that we are going to use symbol and formula now we will convert this word equation into chemical equation so we are going to use the symbol for it that is mg and here o is it correct no we are going to write o2 why because we are going to write the molecular formula of the substances okay so it will give what magnesium oxide and the formula for it is mg o the next one hydrogen plus oxygen gives water so the symbol for hydrogen is h but we are going to take the molecular formula of it so we will have to write h2 plus o2 will give h2o okay and sodium plus chlorine gives sodium chloride so the formula for sodium is na this is a metal chlorine cl2 and it will give nacl sodium chloride okay so is it completely correct no it's not we will have to balance these equations and we will learn how to balance chemical equation in our next video keep watching my video and if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching